Hi, I'm Alan Stevens, International Profiling and Communication Specialist, and today I'm on the online prosperity uh, show with uh, Prosper, and where I'm talking about how to read faces so that you can influence and uh, make uh, better sales with people. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got a special guest, Alan Stevens, who happens to be a communications and facial profiler here in Australia. Thank you so much for, for joining us on the show there, Alan. Oh, thanks for asking me on. Great stuff. Now, Alan, your job is unique and interesting at the same time. You help people to actually harness the power of um, you know, uh, reading people's faces so they can persuade them and influence them. That can also um, you know, influence their behavior mm. and the outcome of um, you know, those interactions that they have with um, you know, different individuals. Now, this show is basically for online uh, business people that are going to be talking and also communicating with either their employees, customers, suppliers, and um, you know, general public, so that they can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And that's the reason why we've brought you in here, so that you can give us your expertise on why it is actually important to know, um, you know, how you can read somebody, their temperaments, and mm -hmm. how that can help people with their businesses. Tell us a little bit about how you actually got into this side of work before we get started on the show today. Well, where I got involved in this was pretty much through absolute necessity, uh, through going through a lot of relationships that didn't work, uh, having business partners who didn't work out, having businesses that actually went to the wall because we couldn't get enough clients. And so I've needed better ways of uh, understanding and reading people. It pretty much started back in uh, around about 1988 when things really, I left, uh, started leaving the government employment, started working for myself. So with that, I just realized that there need to be good ways of actually understanding people because we know that, and it's a, a tagline that everyone's using at the moment, we don't do business with somebody that we don't know, like, and trust. And it's absolutely true. If you can't connect with them, they're not going to do business with you. If you can't connect with them, they don't trust you, they're not going to buy from you. So being able to read people is absolutely important. And in my past uh, careers and experiences, I was always in at the deep end with people, looking after people who were older than me that, that worked for me, uh, having people who were more experienced than me, and then also raising children on my own. So I've always had that need to understand people in different environments. So that's how it all got going for me. Understandable. Thank you so much for that remarkable story there. Now, Alan, in our day-to-day -day lives as business people, there's a need to persuade and influence uh, certain behaviors and certain outcomes. How does reading people actually work in that aspect of the day-to-day -day, um, life? Well, a whole range of different areas. As I mentioned before, you've got sales. How do I actually make a faster connection with somebody? If I can read them, I know how they like to be spoken to, which means, and some of your listeners and that, I'll put this question out to them and they can think about this one. How many times have you actually spoken to somebody, everything's been going perfectly well, and then all of a sudden they lose interest? You've actually talked yourself in and then out of the sale. That would be because you didn't recognize their, uh, their buying style, how they like to be spoken to. Then you have others that interrupt you all the time because you're not giving them enough information or they don't trust you. So it's necessary to be able to read somebody and understand how they like to think and process so I can deliver what I need to tell them in a way that's going to be more receptive to them. Then when you look at your staff, for instance, how do I make better connections with them? Because if your staff, you don't have a connection with your staff, they're not going to be productive. And if they're not productive, you're losing money. So the more you can connect with your staff, the greater advantage you've got there as well. Understandable. So obviously with all of this, um, interaction with other people. Is there a necessity for somebody to actually understand themselves there, Alan? Well, you always start with yourself because I will look at somebody and understand how they like to be spoken to, but I need to know where I start from. Am I a big picture person like them, which means I just talk normally to them if they're a big, per big, big, 
big picture. If I'm analytical and I need more information, then I know that if I speak to them in the way that I like to be spoken to, they're going to shut off. So I therefore know to control the way I'm going to present to them into the way that they want to be spoken to. So I'd need to understand myself. I also, if I understand that, I know why things that other people do push my buttons. And I can then control those situations so I don't get upset with people when it's not their fault. Great stuff. So you would appreciate um, that with the whole uh, entrepreneurship that's going on around, people are now working 24 hours a day. So that means their family is also involved a lot in their business and you know kids are growing the wife is also needing attention or the other partner is also needing attention is it important to be able to profile your family too or is that crossing the line no it's absolutely necessary necessity because if your wife is involved well she's she is involved because she's looking after the children and everything else but she's also part of your business because it's all part of your life so you need to be able to connect with her if you're not connecting with your kids that's going to affect your daily life as well. That will come in an impact on your business. The beautiful part of this, though, is once you learn how to read people in one situation, you're reading them in every situation of all ages and every uh, culture and uh, gender. There's no uh, limitations. Once you learn the, st the skills, you lose it, use it everywhere. And that's what I generally find with uh, business people when I train them. They quite often come back and go, well, this is really cool for business. But um, now I realise that um, I'm using it just as much with my, uh, my spouse and my children. So Great. It's, it works everywhere. Great. I was going to go into the next question. That is there an age group that you can use these uh, techniques that you have devised there, Alan? Well, there's a lot of the traits are passed down in our genes. And, but some of them don't really appear on the face until we get older when the face takes its final structure. Because we know a child's got a very... You know, round, small, smaller head than an adult. But there are still about 10 traits that I can see in a toddler. So I can profile, even a newborn, I can pick up a couple of traits. And as they get older, more of those traits that are passed down the genes come out. But then we have our nature traits, sorry, our nurture traits, I should say, which, say, which is the result of our response to our environment. So we've got both nature and nurture happening. And as we get older, more and more traits become apparent. And some of the people that you and I both know, I've profiled their children for them as young as 18 months. And two or three years later, they're still getting the benefits out of what they learned from that. Understandable. I'm, I was going to come and um, invite you to start profiling my little girl because she's just started skipping ads and she might be taking me out of a job sometime soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doing a dad. I'll give her a few tips on how to do that. Don't know if I'll help you, but I'll help her. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Now, people will probably be watching this show right now and really excited about knowing more about what you do. And you do have courses and other, um, you know, resources that people can utilize. Can you just uh, walk us through what, what you can help people with and how people can get a hold of you? Well, first of all, the best way to get in touch with me is through my website and uh, just send a, a request to connect with me there and we have a chat. The um, uh, second way from there, well, what I actually do is I do everything from doing one-to-one -one training, which I can do over the internet or face-to-face. -face. I do small groups. Then I turn that into larger groups of about 12, but now I reduce the, the size of the training that we actually do and the period over which we do it. And I finally, because this stuff is used everywhere, I thought, well, I'll make it available to everybody everywhere. And I have uh, started recording uh, courses, which people can now buy online and self-pace. So they can test it out. They can get some results. Um, one gentleman in particular, uh, he used the, um, one of those online courses. And he's taken his conversion rate from, he was pretty good with his conversion, about 50%. He took it up to, uh, as he said, over 80, closer to 90%. And that was just after doing a short online course. So then he's come back to me to do um, a larger course so he can take that even further again. Understandable. This is, this is remarkable because once you literally know how to deal with people, you become invincible, you know, and um, your communication improves because now you know which buttons to press on a person, not exactly in those words. 
Um, <laughs> but you now know how to actually work with people. So you've worked internationally as well as, well as um, locally. Tell us, you know, a few sort of success stories, oh, highlights of the work that you've been doing, um, especially with what you're doing currently, just so that our audience really sees the importance of the work that you put out there. Well, one of the, the bigger, well, I'd say probably uh, a lot of fun that I had was this time last year, I was hired by Gillette and Disney Films, flown to London to uh, speak on their behalf to the journalists that they flew in uh, uh, at their Star Wars event. So Gillette were launching their new razor called Rogue One and uh, Disney had their new film coming up out, which was uh, Star Wars Rogue One. And so they flew me over there for, uh, for that event. So that was probably the fun one. And then recently um, I started training uh, groups like the Federal Police. So my clients include, as I said, Gillette, Disney, the Australian Tax Office, uh, the Federal Police, uh, all types of uh, organisations in between and around the world. So I've trained psychologists in uh, America. I'm training school teachers at the moment in uh, Florida and also, uh, or LA, and also in the Netherlands. And I've uh, well, trained on pretty much every uh, continent except the North and South Pole. But I think there's probably yeah, people who are going there for research that, hey, you're locked into a cabin with a bunch of other people for so many months. Why not get on the internet and all learn about each other and have a bit of fun while you're there? Great stuff. This, yes. That's the next thing I'll be looking at. <laughs> you just uh, reminded me on how people are also making excursions to go to Mars. That could be the next uh, point of call there. Well, thank you. Well, if we've got an internet connection, I can go there. <laughs> Great stuff. Well, Alan, thank you so much. And, um, you know, just looking at your immense work and profile, even the Newcastle Herald has described you as the mentalist that has met, um, you know, Dr. Phil, which is a very good place to be. So if you, um, you know, having trouble figuring out how to deal with your clients, how to deal with your spouse, how to deal with your, um, you know, your workers, employees, or even little kids, give uh, Alan, um, you know, a call. Oh, I'll be putting in all the uh, details on how to get in touch with him. He's, of course, the leading authority in reading faces globally. Like he said, he's worked with Disney and Gillette, you know, and as you know, Gillette always wants what the best a man can get. So if you're having trouble um, finding a date or convincing that lovely lady of yours, Alan is the man for you right now. Thank you so much for your time, your knowledge and your expertise um, on this show today, Alan. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. I loved it. Thank you so much. Thank you.